guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you my everyday makeup drawer for March. And this is a series that I started on my channel last month where I go through my makeup collection. I pick out products that I may have not used in a really long time or even some new releases that I need to start testing out throughout the month. And I put them in a separate drawer so I can consciously go to that drawer throughout the month and start using those products again. And in this video, I'm also going to share with you guys the favorite products that I had in February and then go through my collection and pick out the products for March. So if you guys are interested in seeing my everyday makeup drawer for March, then just keep on watching. Alright, so going into my everyday makeup drawer from February, I just want to recap some of the products and let you guys know my favorites. So a lot of these I did end up using a lot. Some I actually didn't use at all this month. But my favorites were, well some of them were actually my favorites. These two Milani products, the Make It Last and the Prep and Glow Spray. I'm actually not sure if I put this in my drawer in my video, but I just did it throughout the month. And then also this Milani Strobe Light Highlighter is really, really awesome. I used it for a tutorial I'm going to be posting really soon that's from the drugstore. I can never open these things. You can see this is super, super pigmented, but it's also something that can look really natural too because it's a very like fine powder. So I like that a lot. I actually think I might have put that in my favorites. And then a couple more favorites, the MAC Studio Fix Foundation, the water weight foundation. I use this a lot and I use this a lot in my blog photos throughout the month. And I actually really, really like this foundation. I'll use it a lot more throughout the spring. The palettes that I used, I use a semi-sweet palette all month, non-stop. I'm wearing it today. I wore it in my intro and outro today. I have been loving it, and I'm just glad that I put this in this drawer because I fell in love with it again. The Modern Renaissance palette, I put in here as like a cop-out basically because this is like one of my favorite palettes, and I knew I was going to use it anyways. I mean, come on, like... That palette is almost used up, so of course I was going to use it. And then I actually never really used the um, Sweet Peach Glow Palette. And I might just save this for like April or May because it's so warm and summery, so I'm going to use it later. And I actually never used the Rainforest of the Sea Palette by Tarte. So I think I'm just going to keep it in this drawer for this month because I actually never ever touched it. So there's some things I'm just going to keep in this drawer. But those were the products that I definitely used the most from this drawer. So I'm going to empty this out and then start going through the products for March. And I'm just going to keep a couple of things in here that I didn't get to use enough in February. Alright, so I'm going to pick out some products from my face drawer, which is getting so overwhelming. I need to start reorganizing things really soon, but that's like a whole different video, which I will probably be making. But I'm gonna pick out a couple things that I know I wanna try this month, and I just got this from Jouer. It's one of their primers. It's their anti-aging moisturizing primer. I've worn it once so far, so I definitely need to start using this and testing it out for the month. And then I actually left another primer in there, an illuminating primer. I've been using the blur stick a lot, so I'm going to keep that in here. Basically, I'm still going to use a lot of the products in here, but these are just products that I want to be consciously using throughout the month. Uh, I'm going to pick out this Dream Pure BB by Maybelline as like a lightweight BB cream to wear whenever I'm like not filming or just not wearing a lot of makeup. So I'm going to be using this, and hopefully I can use it up because I do really like it. I just haven't used it in a long time because, of course... It was stuck way under there, so I forgot about it. And I think that's going to be the only, like, BB cream. And, ooh, I'm going to pick out an old foundation that I could probably start almost finishing. And this is from Physicians Formula. This is their Nude Wear foundation, I believe. I'm not sure if this still matches me, but I'm going to make it work. It's very sheer, so even if it's, like, not the perfect match, I can definitely make it work because it's very lightweight and I could just add bronzer. I'm also going to start using the um, Wonderlush Primer by Ofra. I use this a bit during um, January and early February, but then I just kind of put it away, so I'm going to start using this more. Ooh, for concealer, I just picked up a new concealer, and it's um, Catrice. I'm wearing it today. It's the Liquid Camouflage Concealer. I think I'm really liking this. I just need to start testing it out more. I've used it like three times already, so I'm going to start using that a lot more throughout the month. I did put away... The Amazing Cosmetics Concealer. I had this in my drawer last month. I do not like this. Um, it's just very thick and dry. So basically the exact opposite of what I like in a concealer. Maybe I'll use it to spot conceal, but under the eyes, I just really did not like it. Um, 
Ooh, I forgot about these products. What are they? Okay, this is a Hydra Touch Powder Foundation by NYX. I got this um, at the NYX Face Awards, actually. And I'm not sure if that's even, like, a good match. I think that might be a little dark. I don't know. I'm going to actually put that in the drawer and play with it. Maybe I can mix, um, wear it on top of this and make it work for me. We'll see. So let me see if I actually like this because I probably have used it like once or twice. So I think that's everything I'm going to pick from the face drawer. And like on camera, it looks so much messier than it does in person because trust me, there's a system here. It just got really unorganized because it's so cluttered. But I'll definitely make like another video about like reorganizing my makeup. But my second drawer is a bit more organized. So this drawer had my bronzers, blushes, highlighters, like single highlighters and um, liquid cream contours, things like that. Let me know if you guys want to see a makeup collection of like each of these or like all together because I can definitely go through them. So I'm going to start off with bronzers. I'm going to start with Bahama Mama from The Bomb. I just got this recently. I think I've worn it maybe two or three times, if even that. So I want to start using it more and see if I actually really like it. And blush is always hard because you guys know I only really use the butter blush. Um, this new one that I got from The Bomb, The Bomb Beach. I have Frat Boy here. Maybe I should add that. I haven't um, worn it yet. So I think I'm going to play with this. It's just so pink. I'm a little nervous about it. But I'm going to start using that in my tutorials and stuff. And then I'm actually going to bring out Coralista. No. Luminoso. That's what it's called. Luminoso from Milani because it's been a hot minute. So I'm going to start playing with this again. And, ooh, the new contour stick from um, Benefit. I'm going to start using this over um, Anastasia Fawn because I am, like, ride or die for this. So I'm going to start using this instead. I've been wearing this, like, all week, and I really like it so far. I do have a whole review and demo on it. And for highlighter, ooh, I'm not even going to pull anything from here because there's a new highlighter palette that I can play with in my face palette drawer. So moving into, oh, my gosh, this is such a mess. I apologize, but there's a couple things I'm going to pick out from my, like, mascara eyeliner drawer. I need to declutter some of these. I should have done that before I started filming, but I'll do it this weekend. So something I'm going to pick out is the Mad Lash Mascara by The Bomb. I haven't tried it out yet. It's brand new. And then I'm also going to pick out... Huh... I think I'm going to try out um, the cream eyeshadows from Jouer that they sent over. So this is one of them in the shade Baroque. So this is like a pretty um, coppery bronze shade. I've swatched it already just to like see the color, but I haven't really worn it yet. So I'm going to play with that and let's see anything else. I just need to declutter some of these mascaras. And I think that's all from this drawer. I want to be realistic because I don't wear cream shadows very often. So let's get into the eyeshadow palette drawer. I'm going to actually avoid my everyday palette drawer that I showed you guys. Because we all know I'm going to wear Modern Renaissance, um, the Too Faced palettes. Actually, no, I'm going to avoid these because I do wear these a lot. So I'm going to pick something I wear less often. Alright, so now we're in my less used eyeshadow palette drawer. And I, I just can't believe this is a whole drawer of less used eyeshadow palettes. That's ridiculous. <laughs> so I need to pick out maybe at least two of these. I know I'm going to use the Gwen Stefani palette. I know a couple of you guys wanted me to start using this for like Instagram tutorials and stuff. So I will definitely do that. And I'm also going to pick out... Um, hmm. I don't know. Ugh. There's a reason these are in the less used drawer because I don't get excited about them as much. I know I like this, so that's going to be a cop-out if I choose the um, chocolate bonbons because this is like my favorite of my less used. I think I'm going to actually use... Um, oh, let's go with the Mega Pro 2 from Lorac. So I'm picking the Lorac Mega Pro 2 palette because it's an awesome palette. The formula is awesome. The shades are awesome. It's just overwhelming to me, so I don't use it as often because I look at it and I'm just not sure what to do because there's so many shades. And they're also really neutral, so like... I could just live with like six of these shades and be happy. I don't need like all of them. 
but I'm going to use it because it's a pretty palette. So I'm definitely going to start using this one. And then also let me show you guys the Gwen Stefani one that is like super neutral. I really like this palette too. So I'm going to start using both of these palettes again. All right, and then now we're at my lip collection. And there's so many lip products I have in other, um, just around my room, in purses, probably under my couch or something. So I'm not going to pick out too many products because there's just like a lot of things I need to test out. Um, and then there's still products from last month that I didn't end up using and these are all like closed to the brim So I don't think I'm really gonna pick out any um, Lip products just because I know I go through especially all the liquid lipsticks Okay, so I just ended up picking two from this random drawer and this is the lip topper in um, Frostbite by Jue, and then also a Colored Rain liquid lipstick in the shade Mars. So I really like this. I just don't like the applicator because it's not super precise, but I really like this color. And then I'm going to just pick a lipstick from MAC that is one of my favorites for spring that I haven't worn in a while. And it's this one. It's um, Cream Cup. And this is just like a nudie peach color, so I'm going to start wearing this over the spring this is a good just like everyday color to keep in my purse and just like reapply easily so i'm going to start wearing this one so there we have all the products so far and then there's just one more drawer and it's my face palette drawer and i definitely need to start using more of my face palettes and i know i want to use some of my tarte circle palettes more i'm going to start using um i actually think i'm going to start using my cream contour palette more I haven't used it in a long time and this was like something I used to use every single day. So I'm going to start using this palette more because it just has every cream color corrector or cream bronzer um, that I need. So I definitely use a lot of the shades in here so I need to start using that again. And then I'm also going to use the Rainforest After Dark because this used to be such a staple of mine. The highlighter is beautiful. I know I'm just going to use these three colors, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm not going to use the eyeshadows very much because I don't like the quality of them, but I just want to start using this blush especially again. And then, obviously, I'm going to start using the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero kit. This is why I said I didn't want to pick out a highlighter because I just got this. I'm going to do a review on it. It's going to probably be my next video after this one. I have worn it already. I am liking it so far, but I need to compare it to some other palettes so I can give you guys a full review. So I'm excited about that. I think I'm also going to use this um, blush palette by Too Faced. I mentioned in my face palette collection that I never use this. I actually wear the shade Baby Love in full size all the time. And I think I'm going to actually like all three of these at least. So I'm going to start using this again and kind of force myself to use like different shades other than Baby Love. So I'm just going to put that in my drawer and hope for the best that I actually end up using it. Alright, and then going into my drawer, there's some products that I left over from last month that I definitely need to use this month more. I actually have been liking the Line um, Smoother by Amazing Cosmetics. It's kind of like a primer, so I'm going to be using that more this month and testing it out more. I want to use up this whole um, primer from Cover FX. It's the Illuminating Primer. I was using this for like a good week at least, and then I started getting really into the Mineral Veil Primer. So I'm keeping that in there. The Milani Shade in Stunning. I was wearing this a bit, so I'm just going to keep it in there because it doesn't fit in my other um, lip drawer. <laughs> And then I never ended up wearing C11 by Makeup Forever, so I need to start wearing this again pretty soon. So I'm going to just keep that in here. And also the Benefit Cabral I kept in here too because I do really like it. It just takes a little bit more time than um, the any other brow pencil, so I don't use it as often. So everything for my face is going in here. The Hydro Touch from NYX, the Jouer Primer, the Ofra Primer slash just moisturizer. Um, the Liquid Camouflage, the Pure BB by Maybelline, and the Physician's Formula Foundation. And then for blushes and bronzers, I have Bahama Mama, Frat Boy, Luminoso, the Quickie Contour Stick. I know I'm going to be using this a lot. Then this drawer will have all my eye and lip products. So I have the Mad Lash Mascara to try out from the Balm. The Jouer Cream Eyeshadow in Baroque. And then the Lip Topper, the MAC Lipstick, and the Colored Rain Liquid Lipstick. 
And just so you guys know, I'm still going to use this stuff in my regular drawers. This just gives me um, more of a reason to start using older products. It makes me like think twice before going into my staples. And then I'm going to use these two Tarte palettes. I think I'm just going to start using this more exclusively and just put down my Becca corrector for at least half the time and start using this palette again because it is an awesome palette. And then I think I'm going to use this blush a lot. I could already tell I'm going to be using this all month long anyways because it's brand new. So this is kind of like the cheap product that I'm going to put in here because I would have used that whether or not it was in the drawer. And then the Love Flush Blush Palette. Then the real challenge is going to be the eyeshadow palettes because these are palettes that I definitely don't use as often. The Mega Pro 2 and the Gwen Stefani palette. So those are all the products, guys. I feel like I picked out um, a better variety of products compared to last month. I have more face palettes that I, I need to start using. And I picked out a lot of old favorites like those Tarte palettes. So I feel like I'm definitely going to be using a lot of these products more than the products that I picked out for last month. Last month I kind of picked out products I knew I didn't really like as much and therefore I didn't end up using some of them. I did use a lot of my products from last month but I feel like I'm going to definitely be using a lot more this month. So I hope you guys enjoy seeing my everyday makeup drawer for March. Definitely let me know if you want to see any of the products in my Instagram tutorials, tutorials on my channel, or if you just have any questions about the products that I picked out. And I will link all the products that I picked out for this month in my description bar. Also check out my description bar for my two open giveaways. One is for the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. Another one is a huge giveaway I have going on for a Kylie Peach Palette, Tarte Palette. Just a ton of stuff, a bunch of like high-end makeup and just a lot of palettes. So definitely check that out in my description bar. And if you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys soon in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.